currently on our way to Hobbs to meet up with some friends because today we are going to Philly. Philly! <laughs> And we're trying to go here, I think. A lot of people don't know this actually, but the North Arm train station is actually right at the base of campus. So if you're on Parish Beach or you're just walking down through the trees, you will actually see the train station right at the bottom. So it's very accessible. If you can see, that's the walkway right there and up at the top is Parish. So yeah, just FYI. And today, because it's a weekend, the ticket sales office isn't open, but usually you can go in there. And there'll be a kiosk, or you can talk to an actual person and purchase whatever ticket you need. I think they're about $7, $5.50 on the weekends, I think. So either way, it's very doable, and you can get weekly passes or monthly passes. There are a lot of Swarthmore students that actually do internships in Philly, and they'll like go to class for the day, and then at the end of the day, they'll just hop on the train into the city and then come back. So that's definitely a very common thing to do. By the way, if you didn't get it yet, SEPTA is the reason regional rail system in it's southeastern Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh. <laughs> southeastern Pennsylvania <laughs> transit. <laughs> Dude, revelations, man. Revelations. So yeah, it's currently 919. Our train comes in four minutes. So let's do some introductions. <laughs> this is my roommate. Where are you from, Katie? I'm from Michigan. Katie the Palm thing. I'm from the middle. I'm Helen, I'm from New York City. And, fun fact. I <laughs> I love it. I'm Sue, I'm from Arizona, and this is my first coffee of the day. Big mood. I think our tentative plan for today is oh, to, once we serious. get into Philly, find food. I think we're gonna go have brunch somewhere. And then after that, hopefully, I think the brunch spot that I picked is right near the farmer's market at Raiden House Square, which will be really fun to walk through. They always have some really beautiful flowers, cacti, succulents and also like food obviously so I might get some veggies for the house Katie and I cook sometimes a little more like you cook <laughs> and then after the farmers market I would love to make it at least for a little bit to the Philadelphia Museum of Art because I've never been but I think you did okay so Helen can show us around it's like a quintessential place to go if you're ever in Philly and yeah that's the tentative plan for today hello how are you doing? Now I gotta confiscate that camera <laughs> Oh, really? It's federal. No. You're joking! <laughs> I was like, no, he's kidding. We got a pretty big roll right now. <laughs> no. Two people. Alright, we'll take this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good one. What do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, um, we're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life?
finished brunch. It was incredible. But this is so good. Now we're gonna head to Rittenhouse Square to walk through the farmer's market. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Reading Terminal Market yesterday. Yeah. They usually have all these flavors. Yeah. And he was so upset. Oh. <laughs> so now we're doing it. Just you, you, just you. My dreams. Look. Wake up a lot. How's your honey stick? being cheaper than getting four bus passes so we're just gonna do that are you guys excited yeah <laughs> it's such a beautiful day I'm actually very happy because it was kind of low-key 90 degrees two days ago and now it's like 50 and it's officially sweater weather which is definitely optimal IMO Take a picture with the Rocky statue. That is dedication. <laughs> I take mine to class every day and it is getting significantly worn out. They have some pretty cool ones here. Woo. I 
Yes. Okay, so Katie had to get back for a dance thing, so we rushed her to the station. We're well, gonna. We don't know if she's on the train. Yet. Yeah, we don't know if she made it, so we're gonna wait around until she texts us that she for sure made it. Okay. Okay, now that we've dropped off Katie, it's actually an hour until the next train. So I think we're gonna go get some bubble tea, pass the time. seeing a rice ball. Wow, look at her go. The speed with which. to her dorm and Sue went back to her apartment and yeah I think for the rest of the day I'm just gonna be doing homework and running some errands but yeah thank you guys so much for coming along thank you to Swarthmore for sending me to Philly for the day so that I could show you guys some of the things that you can do by just hopping on the train and going into the city for the day obviously we're very busy students so this isn't an extremely regular thing but every once in a while it is nice to get out of the swap bubble and do something fun just really quick I suppose I could mention some other activities that I really enjoy doing in Philadelphia. You probably know about the Philadelphia Orchestra. It's a world-renowned, really wonderful ensemble. They actually have like a student pass program where you pay like $25 and you can go to an unlimited amount of concerts that they have throughout the school year. I have to get on it and purchase the pass. I haven't yet, but especially being a member of the orchestra at Swarthmore, it's really fun to get together with like other students and go to those shows. Additionally, something that we almost did today but didn't have the time to was go thrifting. There are a lot of good thrift stores in Philadelphia that are either completely non-for-profit and they donate everything to charities or actually those are the ones that I've been to. I, I feel like those are definitely in the majority and you can find stuff for like 50 cents, a dollar. I got this sweater I, I think actually for like 75 cents at a thrift store in Philly. If you guys want to know like stuff that Swatties actually do when they go into the city that would definitely be one of them. Philly is also a nice place to like just go in for the day and maybe just like work at a coffee shop. If it wasn't a week before fall break and we had a lot more studying to do that's probably what we would have done. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Swarthmore YouTube channel and feel free to check out my own personal channel down below. Stay tuned for more A Day in the Life episodes coming very soon. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.